Hi, this is Anne DeMarie for CC Cycle 2, Week 20, Science. What is the second law of thermodynamics? And we'll be um, singing this to uh, Yankee Doodle. And we will kind of repeat some of the hand gestures from the first law of thermodynamics, um, but also changing it up, of course. Um, this week, I'm going to keep things a little bit simple because there's so many big words and it's more important that they get those words down instead of doing the hand gestures. So we'll jump right into it. So what is the second law of thermodynamics? Again, we're pulsating our hands like it's an energy source. Often called the law of entropy. And entropy, I'm just gonna kind of move my hands in sort of a chaotic way in front of my face since entropy is sort of this disordered state of energy and heat. The second law of thermodynamics explains why heat flows from an area of higher temperature, I'm gonna put my hand above, to an area of lower temperature. Now I could go lower, you can go down to your, your belly button or something. Um, but for the video, I'll just keep it here. So um, that's it. And um, we will put that all together to Yankee Doodle. What is the second law of thermodynamics, often called the law of entropy? The second law of thermodynamics explains why heat flows from an area of higher temperature to an area of lower temperature. This is the second law. And we'll do that one more time. What is the second law of thermodynamics, often called the law of entropy? The second law of thermodynamics explains why heat flows from an area of higher temperature to an area of lower temperature. This is the second law. There you go. Hopefully, if you want to take it a little slower, I understand that maybe went a little too fast. Um, but again, making sure that they get down those words is more important than the hand gestures. And hopefully the music will help. So thank you so much, and please like and subscribe.